Right, this will be the last video in the series about these two combo box boxes. Um, what I want to do is show you what happens now. I spoke earlier about, or one of the previous videos, about this button, this select button, and the process that this button is going to go through to create the invoice for our selected customer. Um, as I said before, when the button is clicked, it's going to run a query. And the query is going to be getting the order number from the hidden column in this combo box and getting all of the information about that order into the query and then we'll have a report that nicely displays that information for our customer. Um, if you remember when we were creating a new order and that information was displayed nicely to our customer just while I make a new order here and show what I'm talking about so when we were creating our order for our customer um, a new order for our customer um, it was doing the same process that um, print on the previous screen I just can't see it here this print order button here is really going through the same process that we're going to be doing now what it's doing is that um, button is running this invoice query and the invoice query is up here it's actually getting all of the data from the form and then it's running report customer invoice which is called orders up here so we're going to be doing very very similar thing but this time rather than getting all of the data out of the navigation form using the order number here we're going to be using the order number from the hidden column in this order date combo box <coughs> excuse me so let's do that firstly we're going to make the query so um, actually what we can do rather than actually make the query we're going to actually copy this one because this invoice query does a very very similar job but it gets the order number from the navigation form but a different subform in that navigation form it actually gets it from the order we're going to copy this query just right click copy and control v to paste and this query is going to be called um, what should we call this um, mine's gone a blank what should we call it that's not an invoice it's uh, to order by date query so it's what we've got this order by customer actually we can call it order by customer so it's going to be the order by customer query okay so that's made a duplicate of the invoice query while we're there we might as well make a duplicate of the report customer invoice so again we'll copy and control v to paste and this is going to be report Uh, we're going to call this report uh, order by customer invoice so that's quite a long name but that's fine it really describes what this um, reports doing so firstly let's look at um, in the design view for our order by customer query and remember it's got all of this information from lots and lots of different tables but the criteria for getting the right order ID is coming from the order ID in the navigation subform what we've got to remember is that when we're running this um, macro now when we we click this button it runs this query this is going to be the navigation subform this order by customer so this value hidden here will be live in the data in the navigation as we do that so we can get access to this um, value this hidden value so when we look at our order by customer we can keep this the same form navigation form subform form all we need to do is replace order id with the name of this combo box here and we can just go into there and find out what it's called clicking on it 
and I'm looking up here select date I'm going to go to other we can copy that and go back to our query up the top here and replace order ID with select date and there it is sitting there so remember when this query runs this form is going to be in the navigation sub form so it will have a, have a value sitting in there ready for it to to get and um, if you haven't got as far as making this invoice query already let's just have a quick look at what we've got so the invoice is the most complicated um, thing in the whole database because this is really what the database is for. Let's put that there out of the way. So when we're getting the data that we need for an invoice, it's coming from pretty much every table that we've got. There's five tables here in this database because we need a lot of information to give to our customer as they go away with their goods that they've purchased. Um, so we have a record of, of who they are and what they've bought and they've got a record of what they've bought from us so if they need to come back to have something replaced or repaired then they've got enough information and we've got enough information to find out um, well to make sure that they actually bought it from us <coughs> so as you can see along here in this query we've got order ID order date then we've concatenated the customer name first name and last name together and we'll have their address, their suburb, their postcode, and then the information about the items that they've bought. And the subtotal for that number of items, quantity, time, sold price. Remember, this is the calculated field that we've got up in our order items table. So here we go. So that's all we need for our invoice. And they're all down here. And this is going to search for the specific order that we want using the value that's sitting in our select date uh, field or combo box just there. Let's go back and put something in. So let's go for Bill Huggins. He's only got a few orders. So 3rd of the 9th, 19. Okay, so with this sitting here, now if we were to just close, yes we do want to save changes. So with that sitting here, we know that there should be an order date sitting hidden in the first column of here. So if we click on our, or double click to run our query, there we go, we should have all of the information that's here. So on the 3rd of the 9th, Bill Huggins. So the 3rd of the 9th, Bill Huggins, that's where he's from. And this is the details of the order that he made on that day. So that's that first bit done really quickly. Now if we go into our report and go back into design view, uh, this is the report, the original report for the customer invoice. The things that we need to change, firstly we need to make sure that this is saying copy of, copy of, because it's not the original, they should have taken the original with them and this is a copy that we're generating now. And what we need to do is go over to the data <coughs> excuse me there we go I've just clicked at the top left hand corner to select the whole of the form and it says here that the record source is invoice query all we need to do is change that from invoice query to order by customer query which is our new one that we've just created everything else should be exactly the same so let's have a look we'll just save that we'll get rid of our query get rid of orders which is hidden behind okay so now again let's run our query and then let's run our invoice and there we go we can see that in our query we've got third of the ninth bill huggins from phyllis court vermont he bought hibiscus and rhododendron and let's just check our well, hibiscus rhododendron so this is the date details of the order that we've just selected in our navigation subform. If we then go to change what we've got, hopefully this will have a decent order in it. If we rerun the query by closing it first, closing orders, rerun the query. Just my luck, that didn't have any details in. It's one of my test ones from earlier. Let's try that now. There we go, we've got John Sloan. 
run the order form and there we go copy of invoice customer invoice John Sloan and that's his order so that seems to work well let's close that down <coughs> so just a quick recap um, made a copy of my invoice query and renamed it order by customer query made a copy of my customer invoice and renamed it order by customer invoice um, in the query we told the query to get the value from here which is in our navigation subform and it was the name of this this combo box which was select date and then in our form sorry in our report all we did was change the place where it actually gets the data from from invoice query to order by customer query and pretty simple as long as you've done these first and the good thing about making these copies is that you're not having to mess around doing all of the let's just have a quick look um, doing all of the formatting all of the good work that you've done previously by actually um, adding your corporate look to um, the form before so everything should work the things that might not work actually the buttons oh yeah they do yeah that's fine yes yeah, so it's all good seems to work doesn't it what we need to do is remember that this actually we'll do that now so we'll just go into design view and s click on the the button that we want to run in an event we want on click go to the macro builder so we've selected our button, gone to event, gone to on click and select the macro builder. Then all we want to have in our macro is firstly is to open query and select our order by customer query. So that's the one we've just made. And then the second action we want to do is open report. And the report name is the name of the report that we've just created. There we go, that's all we need to do. Run the query, run the report. So we'll save that nicely and we'll just make sure that that works. Go into form view, order by customer, select customer, order date, hopefully one that's got some data in it. And select, so it's opened up the query, you can see that up here. And it's opened up the, the uh, invoice, the report here which are called orders. Okay, so there is to it. Any problems? Let me know.